how to multiply and divide numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. Taught by Miss B. First, write the number under its place value heading. For example, you would write 450 like this. For 450, you'd put your 0 in your 1's column, your 5 in your 10's column and your 4 in your 100's column. If you are multiplying by a number, the number must get bigger, therefore the digits move to the left. If you are dividing by a number, the number must get smaller, therefore the digits move to the right. The next step is to look at what number you've been asked to multiply or divide by. When multiplying or dividing by 10, the digits move one place, as 10 has one zero. When multiplying or dividing by 100, your digits must move two places, as 100 has two zeros. And finally, when multiplying or dividing by 1000, your digits must move three places, as 1000 has three zeros. For example, if you were given the calculation 450 multiplied by 10, you'd first need to write the numbers under their place value headings. So, you must put the 0 in the 1's column, the 5 in the 10's column, and the 4 in the 100's column. Because it's important to remember when doing these calculations that the decimal point never moves, I always put my decimal point here so I know it's fixed, I remember that it doesn't move. This is a common misconception. But rest assured, the decimal point never moves, it's only the digits. So I'm multiplying, so my number must be getting bigger. Therefore, my digits are moving to the left. As 10 has one zero, my digits are moving one place to the left. So my 0 is moving to my 10's column, my 5 will move into my 100's column, and my 4 into my 1000's column. However, here I have an empty column. Now the only placeholder that you can have is a 0. Therefore, I must put a 0 in my 1's column. 450 multiplied by 10 equals 4,500. If you are calculating 450 divided by 10, the first thing again is to put your 450 in the correct place value holders. 0, your 5 and your 4. Okay? Because I'm dividing, my number must be getting smaller. And because 10 has one zero, I am moving my digits one place to the right. So my 0 moves into my tenths column, my 5 into my 1's column, and my 100's, my 4, will move into my 10's column. So my answer is 45.0. 45.0 is the same as 45, so 450 divided by 10 is equals 45. With the calculation, 450 multiplied by 100, again, you put your digits in the correct place value columns. Then you have a look at the sign. You're multiplying. The number is getting bigger. Therefore, your digits are moving to the left. 100 has two zeros. Therefore, you know each digit must move two places to the left. So your one, your one's column, your zero, will move one, two to your hundreds. Your five will move into your thousands column. Your four, one, two... Or move into your tens of thousands column. But hang on a minute, you now have two empty columns. Now remember, the only number that can be a place filler is a zero. Therefore, you have to insert two zeros, one in your tens column and one in your ones column. Therefore, 450 multiplied by 100 is 45,000. The next calculation is 450 divided by 100.
Now, because I'm dividing, I know my number is getting smaller. So I need to move my digits to the right. 100 has two digits. So I'm moving each digit two places to the right. So my ones, my zero, will move from my tenths to my hundredths. My five will compare from my ones to my tenths. And my four will jump two places from my hundredths to my ones. So I have 4.50, which is the same as 4.5. So 450 divided by 100 is 4.5. 486 multiplied by 1,000, the first thing you need to do is put your 86 in the correct place value columns. Your 6 will go in the 1's column and your 8 will go in your 10's column. Because you're multiplying, the number will get bigger, the digits will move to the left. 1,000 has three zeros, therefore your digits will move three places to the left. Let's start with a six. Six will go one, two, three. Your six will go in your thousands column. Your eight, one, two, three, in your tens of thousands column. And here you have three columns which are empty. Zero is the only possible place holder, therefore you must put three zeros here, one in each column. So your answer to 86 multiplied by 1,000 is 86,000. If you were to have the calculation, 24,000 divided by 1,000, first, again, you must put the digits in the correct place value columns. Zero, 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 and four, and my 2. Next, I have to look at the sign. I'm dividing. My number is getting smaller. I have three zeros, which means my digits are going to move three places to the right. One, two, three. Zero in here. Zero. Four. One, two, three. Two. So my answer is 24.000. Well, 24 point nothing is the same as 24. So 24,000 divided by 1,000 equals 24. When faced with decimals, the process is exactly the same. Here, we have 5.7 divided by 10. Once again, we will put the numbers in the correct place value column. I have seven tenths, I put seven in this column, and I have five ones. Now I'm dividing, my number's getting smaller. Therefore, I am moving my digits to the right. Ten has one zero, therefore I know I must move my digits one place to the right. My seven from my tenths column goes into my hundredths column, and my 5 moves from my 1's column into my 10's column. Now, I have the answer 0.57. So I must put a 0 as my placeholder here. So my answer to 5.7 divided by 10 is 0 0.57. And finally, for the last calculation of this video, we have 0 0.91 multiplied by 100. First, again, I must put my digits in the correct place value columns. I've got one hundredths, I have nine tenths, and I have zero ones. My decimal point is here, it's fixed. My decimal point does not move. Because I'm multiplying, my number is going to get bigger. Therefore, my digits will be shifting to the left. 100 has two zeros, and this tells me that each digit will move two places to the left. My 1 will move from my hundredths column into my 1's column. My 9 will move from my tenths column into my 10's column. And my 0 will move from my 1's column to my hundredths column. My hundredths column. So my answer is 0, 091 which you would read as 91. So 0 
0.91 multiplied by 100 equals 91. Important points to remember. The decimal point does not move. Adding or taking away zeros does not work. The method I've shown you today is a mathematically correct method and it works for both whole numbers and decimals. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please like and subscribe below. P.S. More videos to come.